Man, this place gives me the creeps. A lovely voice. What the? Uh, Wendy, hurry up! I'm coming, Dad. What the heck are you wearing? Same thing everyone else does? <sighs> Jesus. Okay, alright, let's go. 15-year-old Kirk Regan is currently missing. The teenager was last seen. Hold on. Lucas here. On my way. Wendy, I, I have to go... You promised you'd spend the day with me! I'm sorry, sweetie, uh, but it's actually important this time. <laughs> More important than me, apparently. Unfortunately, my job really does take priority sometimes. Especially now that I, Lucas Parrish, was trying to get my former position back. Until recently, I was head of the SCP Foundation base here, but was demoted after a stupid incident. Parrish, you sure took your sweet time. Well, today's my day off, so... Don't care. Now get started on this case ASAP. Is this that missing kid, Kirk Regan? Shouldn't this be a police matter? The details are in the report, Lucas. Ah, now I see why the Foundation took over this case. The teenager no longer had vocal cords and no traces of surgical intervention. They just disappeared. Hey guys, want to have some fun? See that house? Lydia Rivers lives there. That crazy old lady with the messed up face? I think her grandson just died recently. Died? <laughs> I bet the old witch killed him herself. No way. I swear, I heard she used to be a toy maker until she went totally nuts. Let's get out of here! Where is it? Looking for this? Hey, give it back! I don't think so, you nasty little troublemaker! Old witch! I managed to find Kirk's private social media account where he posted personal vlogs. Now for an exciting night of watching them. But then, as I was researching, I found an interesting case file in the Foundation's database. Bob Harley, who had had a bad case of lung cancer, found a teddy bear on his porch with a note that read, Get well. According to Bob, the bear came to life that night and assembled a new set of lungs for him, somehow also replacing them. Bob was good as new after that. Sounded crazy. But then I saw the medical records and an extremely curious x-ray. Why am I wasting time on a teenager's social media account when we got a guy with patchwork lungs in his chest? I gotta convince Kelly to put me on this case. Come on, not like we can help the kid now anyway. I'll deal with it later. <laughs> I see why you're so excited, Parrish. You're gunning for my cozy chair, aren't you? <laughs> I'm just doing my job. Sure you are. Okay, Bob Harley took the anomalous bear to Sacred Heart Hospital. I wanted to send someone anyway, so go check it. Yes, ma'am. If Dad finds out I lost my phone, I'll never hear the end of it. Now, where'd that witch put it? Yes! Time to get out of here! Ugh, screw you, sicko! Ah. Uh. 
It's you. I like your skin. Oh, come on! Going somewhere? Get back here. Shit! Shit! When Bob brought up the teddy bear, I thought he must have hit his head. But after seeing his x-rays and blood samples, I believed him. That girl over there had a month to live at best. Liver cirrhosis. I thought, well, if there's even a chance. And put the bear in her ward. By the morning, her vitals had returned to normal. We did a liver biopsy and saw that she had, well, uh, wool in her abdominal cavity. Hmm. That's, uh, interesting. Uh, we'll figure it out. So, <laughs> you guys from some big secret service thing like uh, X-Files or... God, I thought he'd never shut up. We seized the object and administered amnestics to all who had come in contact with it. We set up surveillance on the so-called healed people to monitor their condition. Hey, has that container been compromised? Come on, boss, it's just a teddy bear. A teddy bear like this almost killed me and cost me my position as the head of the base. SCP-1048 was a harmless toy and moved freely throughout the site until it made a copy of itself, made entirely of metal and almost destroyed everything. It was a mistake I wasn't going to make again. That's two weeks of paperwork for violating transportation protocol. Yes, sir. There was nothing anomalous about the material the object was made of. We had to put it through live testing. I need a Class D employee suffering from a kidney condition. This plush monster doesn't waste any time. As soon as the organ was ready, the subject lost consciousness, and the bear placed the knitted kidney on his body. It began to just sink into it, while the damaged kidney disappeared. For our next experiment, Kelly ordered them to inflict wounds on several Class Ds and let them into the cell. The bear didn't seem to care about the severity of the injury. He healed both the wounds and unhealthy organs equally well. The higher-ups will be happy to learn about this object. We could use it to heal soldiers hurt during missions. Don't even think about it, Kelly. We still don't know enough about it. Last time, I... I almost... I'm not you! You're out of line, Parrish! Skank. Not now, Wendy! <laughs> Daddy? Are you kidding me? Got you! <laughs> You've got nowhere to run! Grandma, are we heading yet? Oh, God! Help! Stop! Please! The Beta-3 squad returned to base. The soldiers had been hurt badly on a mission, and Kelly ordered to heal them using the bear ASAP. Damn it, Kelly! This is wrong! You can't use the object on our people! This is your last warning, Lucas! I told you I'm busy! What? Oh my god! Is, is she alive? I'm on my way! What is it? Wendy. She got into an accident. She's in critical condition with heavy burns all over her body. We could bring her to our infirmary and heal her using the bear. Don't even think about it. Wendy! Baby girl! Jesus! You can't be here! What's going on? Get out! We're losing her! No! Wendy! Kelly, ready the infirmary. I'm bringing Wendy. <laughs> Hurry it up! She doesn't have much time! As soon as the bear was placed, it immediately got to work. He replaced Wendy's burns with rags. I didn't like it, but Wendy's life was at stake. Wendy! She's unconscious, but vital signs are normal. She's stabilizing. Take the object away. Oh God, my baby girl. What's up, bro? Living the dream, am I right? 
Monster! It's a monster! A monster? Where? The old woman. The old woman made it. What are you talking about? Lucas, quick! We have a problem! He was found on the street. It's Bob Harley, the guy who got new lungs from our object. Well, seems they disappeared from his body. No signs of surgical intervention. Damn it! We need to check on the others! Already have. The girl with the knitted liver, also dead. The replaced organ, vanished without a trace. What have we done? We were too hasty! One by one, Class D employees healed by Object 2295 were dying. The soldiers from Beta 3 were next, and I realized that Wendy would soon fall victim as well. God, how could I let this happen? Kelly made the mistake of allowing the bear to be used on our staff, but I screwed up by letting my daughter be a part of this. My baby girl. I wasn't there when you needed me most. It's all my fault. The Foundation's doctor tried skin grafting, but her body was rejecting it. Shit! I had to save her! I remember the kid whose vocal cords disappeared without surgery. Maybe Kirk Regan was also affected by Object 2295. I hope to find answers somewhere in his video diaries. Tommy introduced me to his grandma today. What a creepy old lady. She makes all sorts of freaky toys and she won't let Tommy outside. The dude doesn't even go to school. I think I'm his only friend. Tommy doesn't want to be around her anymore. I think he's going to tell her tonight. Right. So the old hag makes dolls. Maybe she made this bear too. I need to be sure. I can't believe it. Tommy's dead. Fell down the stairs and broke his neck. Right after he decided to get away from his grandma? Huh, now that's a weird coincidence. You want to know what's even weirder? The old woman didn't even cry when Tommy was lowered into his grave. She is definitely the one who killed him, and I'm going to prove it. Now that's interesting. Did you really go into her house, kid? I've been following this old lady for a whole week. She's crazy. One day, I looked into her window and saw her sewing some kind of creepy doll as tall as a man. I'm going into her house today to find out everything I can. I hope I make it back alive. <sighs> I decided to check on the old lady. She was a doll maker after all, so she might be able to identify our object. Uh, Miss Lydia Rivers? Yes, that's me. I'm investigating the murder of Kirk Regan. Did you know him? Yes, yes, that poor boy. Please, come in. He was friends with my grandson, but Tommy died. And then this one, what did you say his name was? I started asking leading questions, but it seemed like the crone had completely lost her mind. To be honest, the old woman seemed quite harmless. But then I heard strange noises coming from the second floor. Huh, is there uh, anyone up there? Where? It's just little old me here. Wait, mister. You can't go up there. Is there anyone there? Don't open that door, asshole. Miss Rivers, wait. What's Wendy's backpack doing here? Who's there? What the fuck? Is that thing alive? That must be the monster Wendy was talking about. Step away from me. Don't touch grandma. Any idea what kind of trouble you're in? I'm a special agent! Thanks for bringing my teddy bear back. You made it? Tommy was a bad boy. He wanted to leave me, and I decided to make myself a new grandson. So you did kill him after all? Good thing I had my teddy bear. It finds sick organs in those who happen to be nearby, and replaces them with knitted ones. Patchwork organs stay in people's bodies, grow up, and then move into my body. The bear needs to be tethered to the host so that he knows where to deliver the new organs. I just had to shove Tommy's hair inside. You're fucking sick! I took the vocal cords from Kirk, 
That naughty boy. I wanted to take everything else, but the bear only heals one organ at a time. So I had to give the toy to that idiot Bob. What should I take from you? Bastard! Shit! Wendy's patchwork skin started disappearing! <laughs> Jesus Christ! There! You're tethered to Wendy now, you stuffed monster! I hope this works. <laughs> My little girl, she'll have to live in a containment cell forever. At least now we'll spend more time together. Sir, we have the autopsy results. Because of Kelly's reckless decisions, she was demoted and I was reinstated to my former position. But there were still too many questions about that old woman. How did she bring toys to life? Was she an anomalous object herself? It looks like she's also sewn from different human parts. Skin, internal organs, all coming from different people. We couldn't find her birth certificate, but we found documents confirming that the real Tommy was adopted by Lydia. So she's not just an anomalous object. Someone created her and a teddy bear the same way she created Patchwork Tommy. But who? Made by Dr. Wondertainment. What does that mean? It means our job isn't over yet.